Okay, so in a previous video, I showed you guys how to put your effector together, but I didn't have the final piece that I needed to mount the hot end on. Now, one thing that you're going to notice about this is that it has this small hole up at the top and these four other larger holes. The small hole at the top is meant to be the same diameter as your probe and as you can see I've taken the hardware off the probe the springs and the the uh, Euro plug that was holding the springs on I've taken them off and what we're going to do is simply slide it out and what we're going to have to do is when we place our hot end on it is going to go this side this side up and actually no it goes this way and this hole is going to have to be cleaned out because as you can see it's it's kind of a little bit too small it's going to have to be uh, enlarged a small amount and what we're going to do is I'm going to take this clip I'm going to place it on here as you can see there's a nice channel for it and you slide it on and it snaps in place and then we are going to attach it to our effector so that we can go ahead and hang our effector inside of our frame now to do this we're going to use one of our M8 screws and we are going to replace one of our bolts that we used for our, um, our our end probe we're going to replace that with a longer bolt and the reason that we want to do that is we want to tie all of this together and it does make it a pain in the butt if you have to do any services to it however I think it's worth it this way you can place a nut to capture the entire system I put I use two long bolts that staggered at the corners and two short bolts staggered at the other two corners and that gives me a really firm uh, connection so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting that together and show you what it looks like